Justice, fairness, inclusion. From the beginning, our coalition was more than just a roster of organizations. It was a movement for a better America. Our founding traces back to January 1950 when A. Philip Randolph, Roy Wilkins, and Arnold Aronson called for more than 4,000 delegates to Washington to take part in the National Emergency Civil Rights Mobilization. That's exactly what they were facing, a national emergency. Lynchings, mob violence, legal apartheid, prejudice permeating the most ordinary aspects of life. When the delegates arrived in the nation's capital, they received a list of just four places to eat, the only places known not to discriminate. For three days, delegates rallied and urged Congress to pass civil rights legislation. But every bill challenging the grip of white supremacy died on the Senate floor. Our founders' civil rights agenda lay in legislative tatters. Nonetheless, they were unyielding in their march toward justice, and they knew that civil rights could not be won by one group alone, and so created the Leadership Conference Coalition. Activists took to the streets and courtrooms of America, we took to the halls of Congress. We engaged directly with lawmakers, Palat, for a common goal, equal rights for all. In the 1960s, our advocacy led to a cascade of monumental civil rights laws. The right to live free from discrimination, the right to vote, and to access housing and jobs and education free from racial terror. There was such a potential sense of hopelessness, but we kept fighting. Steadily, America inched closer to its ideals, but this posed a challenge to the coalition. What good is a law if it's not enforced? With these victories behind us, we had the task of making sure government honored civil rights. So our leaders created the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights Education Fund, a sister organization that equipped us with the research tools to make our case to the American public not just the lawmakers in Washington. The decade that followed marked a transformational time for the coalition. As the leadership conference worked around the clock to reauthorize the Voting Rights Act, something happened. The coalition doors swung open. New members took their seats at the table for diverse communities, for constituencies who offered fresh and important perspectives. People with disabilities, women, immigrants, LGBTQ people, Asian Americans, older Americans, Latino folks. As our membership grew, so did our priorities. Together, we became a powerful force multiplier for equality, for justice. And that strength would be soon put to the test. The 80s ushered in an era of fierce backlash. In the words of our then chairman, Clarence Mitchell, the coalition was engaged in an unending fight to hold on to what we had already won but we faced down the opposition. Like our early founders, we were unyielding in the march toward justice. We knocked down voting barriers. We defeated a Supreme Court nominee who called the Civil Rights Act, quote, a principle of unsurpassed ugliness. We helped secure reparations for Japanese Americans interned during World War II and achieved landmark wins on disability rights and women's rights. We fought to make sure everyone could live authentically and free from discrimination. Then we turned 60, and in the spirit of diversity and connectivity, we changed our name to include human rights. It was a time of hope, of progress, of seeing our communities and our collective power reflected in democracy. But we also saw deep fault lines fracture and force a national reckoning with our shameful past. In 2017, Wade Henderson passed the torch to Vinita Gupta, the first woman and first child of immigrants to serve as head of the coalition. This marked a turning point, a transformative opportunity to build on our founder's legacy. And today, nearly four years into the Trump presidency, discrimination persists. We face unprecedented challenges and the fight continues on voting rights, a fair census, justice and policing reform, education equity, 
and so much more. The civil rights movement is not a relic of the past, but a vibrant and essential force for change. After 70 years, our movement for justice is still alive. We won't back down. Justice, fairness, inclusion. These ideals are always worth fighting for. So we're doing the hard work in coalition and together we'll keep marching until democracy is won. <laughs>